disk and SSD. That is a one of uh, very important interview question. So most common question. Okay, just because only people are dropped out. So next we'll come to the storage. Storage devices. Main storage device we use hard disk of course. So I will tell about hard disk, but before that one I will tell some other storage devices. Okay. So it is a secondary storage. What is primary storage? RAM and ROM. Secondary storage. Hard disk, CD-RAM, floppy disk, your USB pen drives, external hard disk. These are all secondary storage devices only. So in this one, so magnetic type of storage devices. Okay and uh, optical type of storage devices also there magnetic type and optical type of storage devices so magnetic type means the data stores in the uh, magnetic material in the magnetic material okay and optical storage devices means it is a kind of media which we are storing a data through a laser beams. Read and writing a data through a optical uh, uh, um, um, equipment like a laser beam kind of stuff. Okay. Of course, we are going to discuss about hard disk, but I will tell you how other things are look like. If you take floppy disk first. Flappy disk is, is a look like this one, guys. Okay. Inside of flappy disk, there is a magnetic disk like this. Okay, data stores in this magnetic disk. This is external flappy disk driver, so you can uh, connect. You can insert this flappy disk inside, and we can put a data inside. You know the earlier days we use this flappy disk to boot system and boot the instructions okay loading the instructions booting the systems they are using nowadays it is nothing nowadays you can't be able to store when a single picture also no flappy disk Maximum size is 1.44 MB. Of course, there is a two, three type of flappy disk are there. Big size flappy disk and small size flappy disk. Uh, three and uh, it's like a three, one by four flappy disk. That's uh, this type of uh, three and a half flappy disk or three by four flappy disk. That is called a three by four flappy disk. This is five uh, part is there. So two type of hard disk is there. Next one is uh, five by four. Five, one by four. Okay. This is a bigger size. The size of the hard uh, flappy disk is bigger, but uh, the data we can able to store is very less. Yeah, that's the correct. Uh, this is three and a half, and this is five by five, one by four. Okay. So earlier days, it's a big, very big lesson. Now it is not much. This, the maximum size is. 1.4 for this is the higher size three uh, three and a half uh, uh, size flappy disk okay 
Uh, so 5 1 by 4 is floppy disk is there. Anyway, it is not required because we are not using it. Next one is uh, um, uh, zip drives. We are not using now. These are all. These two are not using now. The zip drives are uh, different sizes, guys. So zip drives actually store uh, big size data. Zip drives are used to store big size data compared to floppy disk. Usually to install uh, or a, a backup or a backup and restore your system. OK, this is a zip drive and uh, it is a uh, the media which we are inserting. It is look like a floppy disk. But it stores uh, higher data. It means higher means 100 MB data like that. OK, so earlier days to transfer a data, heavy data transmission that time. OK, so then uh, we are using this kind of zip drives. It is also like a flappy disk only. So it is around a 100 MB size is there, 250 MB size is also there like that. Different sizes uh, are available. Tape drives. Tape drives. Still we are using. We are using tape drives. We are using. We are using. Main purpose is backup. Main tape drive purpose is so best cheap backup solution it is cheaper backup solution okay. so how the tape drives are look like this is a, uh, another name they call uh, tape drives is dds digital data storage digital data storage DAT digital audio tapes different sizes are there see you can see this is a HP DDS or DAT uh, cleaning cartridge it's a cleaning cartridge means uh, like a head cleaning cartridge it is okay same way cassettes are there so you can yes, it's also cleaning cartridge where is size cartridge now yeah, this is now this is that the picture is given very small size so 320 320 gb data we can store okay so 80 gb data also there see this is a cassette and this is how it is look like okay this stat is look like that one. Okay, why where we are using this one, guys? It is for a backup purpose. In uh, organizations, they prefer a, uh, a daily backups uh, or a, a weekly backups in this stat only. Okay, so why? Because it is uh, cost is reduced as compared to hard disk. And once you've done a backup, you can keep it aside also. OK, this is say a that kind of stuff. And one more is uh, uh, because we are using that's why I am telling this one. You know, CC cameras backup, CC camera recordings. In certain organization use their CC camera recordings into this in that song. OK, so it is a yes. cheaper backup. Okay, different sizes are there guys so like a 40 gb 80 gb okay 160 gb 20 gb so on different sizes of uh, uh, things are there Next, uh, 
of course i already I told hard disk we will going to discuss so that's all that. cd ram it is a optical drive cd ram is a optical means it is a cd dvd blu ray if you see this one it is like a, a small disk okay it is the material so there is certain material on it this is the how the cd ram it is look like it is for desktop this is a laptop cd ram and now we are getting external cd ram also there and of course we are all uh, stop using means still there is a cd ram you, you use is there okay <laughs> okay uh, the point okay so what it is it is in this one we can store a data by through laser beam so somewhere you can find it the um, how the data is right on it okay so there okay so yeah like this the cd ram rotates this laser beam put the data in it it burns the data it read and write the data on the disk and that will be uh, convert into uh, electrical form and we will get it. That's it is called a uh, blue ray disc. Optical drives. Okay. So you in the size wise there is no we can't able to judge it, but internal densities are different. Okay. CD DVD internally the density wise it is uh, different from onto another one. So, okay, so. It is 700 MB. So in some cases, some test books it shows 600 to 650 uh, uh, MB. MB size is only guys. So DVD, it is single uh, layer. It is uh, 4.7 GB. If it is a double layer, if it is a DVD having a double layer, that is comes under 8 or 8.5, 8 or a 8 point. Some DVD shows 8.5 GB also. Uh, so some are showing only 8 GB. So 8 GB is a standard one. Next, Blu-ray. Uh, okay, Blu-ray. So you know, up to DVD, up to the DVDs in the market, it is more demand. Now, when Blu-ray came into market, uh, almost all uh, that time, pen drives are become uh, more in market. You know, when uh, after my engineering, or almost in, in my, my engineering, so I plan to buy a 2 GB pen drive. I plan to buy a, a 2 GB pen drive. So that time it is very difficult. Uh, so one of my friend told me, so we have to go to uh, Reliance uh, shop that time. So Reliance, not Geo that time. Okay. So we go to the Reliance and we buy a one um, a pen drive. Uh, it's uh, like, you know, we went to Reliance and we purchased one uh, uh, pen drive, which even it is not immediately delivers because that person who is working inside a Reliance so is booking in the uh, uh, eBay. Okay, this is what we're doing. You're doing booking. So 600 rupees, 2 GB pen drive. Now 2 GB is also not enough, right? 600 rupees, if you want to go, you will put it, get a almost 16 GB or 32 GB pen drives also we are getting. Okay, so up to DVD, it's in the market. Demand is there. Blu-ray came into market. The Blu-ray can store up to 25 GB. It's a very good size yet we are getting, but problem is that time the pen drives and other form of storage just increases. So no permanent required and Blu-ray is a very costly. So people are not showing much interest in a Blu-ray. But still, Blu-ray is also there. Single layer is 25 GB, 
and double layer is 50. Okay, sometimes density wise, it's, uh, it's explanation is there. It's like that, it is enough. <laughs> you know, um, um, yeah, PS4 gaming stations, yes. PS4, PS5, yes, sir. they, they yes. use uh, uh, this Blu ray disc because the size of the game, uh, the install one, it is very bigger. Okay, it's not a 2 GB, 3 GB, or 4 GB. It is uh, sometimes 16 GB, sometimes 30 GB data is there. So what it will do, they will use, they use a Blu-ray disc. That's it, the, the, the simple disc is also very costly. In second-hand disc, second-hand disc is not costly. Duplicate disc also costly. Duplicate, like you can go buy duplicate games in some markets. So this is a Except hard disk, I told everything. And of course, there is a SSD also. We have a thing. Okay, store operating. Okay, uh, few points, some more points, guys, to just uh, generalize. Okay, you want to store operating system, applications, and data, music, video, documents. Okay, where we'll store in generally in our internal hard disk. So, SATA type of hard disk is there, SATA type of hard disk. Or you can store in a SSDs. Okay. And in, in, in SSDs also, two type of SSD, SATA interface SSD, M.2 type of SSDs. You can store data externally also. Like a, usually data kind of stuff, you store data externally, like a USB pen drives, SD cards. SD cards, external hard disk, USB external hard disk you can store it in generally sd cards not comes under external storages not completely because you have a mobile phone in mobile phone you have a internal memory in mobile phone you have a uh, uh, internal memories okay uh, so but we are need a more storage to have a more storage so you can add one SD card and you can store it, which is both inside your mobile phone. Only. So it is not exactly a external storage. This should not mix up with a USB or a external hard disk because USB will connect and disconnect you. Okay, but SD cards, we don't put a connect and disconnect, but it's movable, movable. Okay, that's things like this. Next one is EMMC. EMMC. What is EMMC? No one knows. I'll show you. Tell you, okay? So you have a mobile phone, right? Your mobile phone, it shows internal memory 64 GB, 128 GB internal memory, okay? So where the data stores? EMMC cards. Okay, this kind of chipset on your 
mobile inside your mobile phone, these type of chips are there that are stores in this chips only. So when you see a mobile phone, so oh, I will see IQ, the new one still is blinking in my, my eyes. Okay. Is it released or not released also without no? A six is it's not seven. Sure. So what is the internal memory? It is RAM is 12 GB, 256 storage. What is meant by 256 storage? So internally data we can able to store up to 256. Okay. You know, golden days. To tell internal storage, external storage, they simply say RAM is 4 GB, ROM is 32 GB. RAM is 2 GB, ROM is 16 GB. RAM is uh, uh, 8 GB, <laughs> ROM is a kind of stuff. It's not ROM, guys. Exactly. They are giving like that. So it's, it's not, uh, you can't put uh, everything on them. So it is. So they're telling it is uh, ROM is. Okay. But actually, the data stores in the EMMC. Sir, now they have come with that. Uh, we can extend the RAM up to 4 GB or 8 GB from uh, uh, internal is, uh, storage. Uh, actually, uh, one uh, point is. Uh, yeah, that's the good thing it is. You have a mobile, you purchase a mobile with 8 GB RAM. OK. That, that's it. Uh, original 8 GB, 8 GB. That is the original 8 GB, 8 GB. The extended RAM means that like you are adding a, I want extra 4 GB. Means you are physically you are not adding anything, right? In the mobile phone. In laptop, I added a extra RAM. But in mobile, you can't add any extra RAM. What you are doing, you have taken this from your memory. Okay. So virtually you are increasing. That's it. It's not a performance may little increases. Okay. But you want to buy a, a mob, mobile. With a specific RAM kind of stuff. You can buy that. Yes. One. Okay. 8 GB RAM. That's it. So you buy 4 GB plus I will extend 4 GB. Not good. So it is main is 12 GB plus 8 GB extended. So main is 12 GB, so we have to keep it. That is 12 GB, that is better. 12 GB is itself, it is a very higher. Okay. So the IQ change from uh, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon to MediaTek. score not only this one guys mini laptops so, you know earlier days we have a mini laptops now also we have a mini laptop kind of concept so these laptops are around 15 to 20 thousand so these laptops comes with a uh, 32 gb emmc memory you can see 32 gb emmc memory 64 gb in the recent laptops we are getting a uh, 64 GB EMMC memory inside. So maybe it is a little older. That's it showing. 2 GB RAM, 32 GB EMMC. Just like uh, just you want a laptop. That's it. OK, so this is 64 GB RAM. 64 GB EMMC storage. The, the laptop won't give not even your mobile performance, not a desktop performance, not even a mobile performance, but still like a video calling, uh, Google browsing, okay, that kind of stuff. In this configuration, you got a Google Chromebooks also, you can take it. So 20, 20,000, 18,000, I think you last inside. Oh, mainly you have to check it at the battery performance, if in case you want to go for this one. So you have to check the battery performance. 
this is look like good okay so that's the point i want to say guys in your mobile phone mini pcs emmc storage system <laughs> 8 gb ram which processor it is number pad is <laughs> my maybe for a world people there is a number pad in stuff for mouse track Uh, we don't mind what it is guys so different other devices uh, we, we are telling so i am going with the hard disk hard disk or a hard disk drive so we have to complete already this uh, time is so much it is So I, I plan to tell uh, uh, other uh, uh, things about uh, uh, hard disk partition and all, but I will tell only hard disk and SSDs and their connectivity is their storage related. Okay, that is uh, one important question that I keep asking in interview. So what is a hard disk? Hard disk is also a secondary storage device. It is a mass storage device, means you can store large size of data. You can store uh, in a floppy disk, zip drives, tape drives, CD-ROM, DVD, but it is in a randomly you want to access the data from the storage device the go and to store heavy data also hard disk is important. Generally, we store operating system in the hard disk. Generally, we store operating system in the hard disk. In a hard disk, you have a two interfaces. Okay, so one is SATA interface, another one is PATA type of interfaces. Okay, and uh, in a hard disk, store data, right? So where hard disk store the data? Uh, in a flappy disk, there is a magnetic disk. Okay, like that it is there. No? Similarly, hard disk also having a, a plotter. Can you see that a round disk shape that is a plotter? This is make me again irritate. Okay, no, it is good. I think so. Okay, have you seen this disk? This disk stores the data. This is called a platter. This platter is attached with a spindle motor which rotates this platter. And here is a magnetic uh, um, acuter is there. It's a permanent magnet. It is an acuter. Okay. Okay, this is called a cuter arm. This contains a tip called a read and write head, uh, header. Okay, this read and write header is move to the inside to outside like this. It move inside to outside and the plotter is rotate. Okay, so what will happen with this one? Data is read and write from the plot. Okay, so in a back side of this uh, hard disk and there is a this kind of a logic board is there through that logic board we can able to uh, read a data and uh, write a data inside means our uh, electronic signal cannot understand by hard disk internal parts right which this logic board is to get connected to a motherboard and also it is converts our uh, data signal into 
uh, the um, writing part means like how to read and write. OK, from this data. Uh, uh, signals to our uh, and our computer understanding signals also will be converted by this logic power. Can you see these are a connectivities are they now? Can you see connectivities? Different type of connectivities there guy earlier. We are using a IDE type of connectivity. Later technology changes to ATA advanced technology attachment. In advanced technology attachment, we have a PATA and SATA. PATA parallel advanced technology attachment. SATA serial advanced technology attachment. So after PATA SATA came. OK, earlier we are using only PATA type of connectivity. It is a 40 pin ribbon type of connector. So here it is. Uh, I will uh, use that one. This is a SATA type of hard, uh, PATA type of hard disk. OK, parallel advanced technology attachment. Parallel. Advanced technology attachment. This is uh, Pata. You know, some test books, some places there are uh, wantedly putting ID and Pata because everything is IDE technology only. IDE to SATA technologies, okay? ATA technology. IDE SATA is a, so they are telling how do you have this? So can you see this is the pin connectors for a hard disk pin connector? This is jumper and this is power cable. So they use a ribbon cable like this. They'll use a, a ribbon cable like this. So one side of the cable go to motherboard, other side of the cable go to hard disk. If you see this is the this is going to motherboard and this is is going to hard disk, but we have a two connectors like this in another side. It means you can connect it to hard disk. So you can connect it to two hard disk or two CD ROMs or one hard disk one CD ROM like that. Also, we can able to connect means two drives. We can able to connect it either hard disk drives or a CD RAM drives or both. OK, so this is the ID hard disk which we are used earlier days. Now we are using a SATA type of disk. Now we are using a SATA type of hard disk. If you see this SATA type of hard disk, of course, guys, mainly hard disk, two important connectivity. One is data connection, another one is power connection. Even if it is a IDE or SATA, even if it is a IDE or SATA, two points. One is data connector, another one is power connector. This one, the small one is data connector. The big one is power connector. SATA power connector. In this one, these pins are there now. This you can see the multiple pins, almost 40 pins are there here. So there is a 40 pin connector. It is data connector, which we connect with the ribbon cable. This is power connector, Molex connector, four pin connector. Where I went, where I went. It is a SATA hard disk. To connect from SATA hard disk, you have to connect from SATA hard disk. 
to motherboard right so this is you can see this is the data cable is connected this is the power cable should be connected but this is the little old style uh, uh, sata hard disk so it contains a molex connector also okay you can see this molex connector This is the cable, how it is look like a cable. So this is called a SATA cable. Okay, which we call it as a SATA cable. Yes, understand. So, SATA, PATA differences, how it is look like? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, here it is. The hard disk you are buying, like, you know, I want to buy a hard disk. So, I went to Amazon. Okay. So, then I search a hard disk, which is having very good rating, right? Which is having very good rating, good company and I purchase the hard disk and I want to insert a hard disk into my system, which is not compatible. And uh, I asked my friend and he said uh, some you have to buy some separate cable to connect it. OK, people are more intelligent than actual intelligence. <laughs> so thing is this. So just for a point, guys, small, small things we neglect. That is sometimes big disadvantages are sometimes we, we we don't know that one it is okay, exactly okay so that's why you should know that the, the, how it is look like i'm giving some information guys you can search a lot of things in internet nowadays everything is available max to max information is available only thing is we should know what is it and how to search what to search kind of stuff okay so in an internal hard disk, guys, there is a 3.5 inches hard disk and 2.5 inch hard disk is also there. This 3.5 inch hard disk means it is a bigger in the size. Actually, it is suitable. Suitable for a desktops. Okay, desktop purposes. It is suitable for a desktop purposes and 2.5 inch hard disk we use for a laptops internal laptop hard disk or a mini pc kind of things also there you know nowadays we are getting a mini pc concepts not only nowadays it's there from almost like a, a eight nine years back okay mini pc concepts also there asus uh, uh, company intel company they are providing mini pc concept in that one, you can also use uh, this kind of uh, stuff. I said a mini PC. Mini PC, not mini computer. Okay. So, this is another mini PC. It contains a, a motherboard and a hard disk, SSD, uh, RAM, every facility is there. We can connect to um, a monitor using HDMI cable or a projector also you can able to connect it. Uh, Wi-Fi is there, Bluetooth is there, LAN connectivity is also there. It's a little uh, uh, as comparing, uh, this is the, the first one is rich, this one, NUC, mini PCs. Next unit of computing, it is very small in size, but you can do our regular work with that instead of buying a very big desk. This is very small. 
it's look like a matchbox. Okay, big matchbox. Uh, sir. Yeah, tell me. What does does it provide, sir? Mini pieces. Okay. Yeah, mini pieces. You are telling, right? Uh, yes, yes. It's yes, a CPU yes. kind of. Thing. Yeah, just instead of buying a big desktop, so big desktop, oh. we can put a big big things, so many things. Yeah. But this is minimum computing you will get. Minimum regular computing you will get it like uh, you'll get a Windows operating system. You can use browsing storage, storage, also. storage internal external storage. We can connect. Okay. okay, internet we can connect with both Wi-Fi and wide connectivity. Can be. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, I got it. OK, no, normally how you are computer you can use same way. Mm. But you won't get a graphic card, separate graphic card connectivity, that kind of stuff. You won't get it. Not high peaks performance. You won't get it. You can't change the uh, processor on it. Everything is enhanced. Type. Okay. It, it is fixed. Everything is fixed. Everything is fixed oh, except uh, RAM and uh, hard disk. We can change the RAM now. I mean, if we want to add uh, you, more, some yeah, extra RAM. Change RAM. And you can change hard disk or SSD instead of hard disk. You can use SSD also. Okay. Okay. May I don't may very new one. I don't know, but it is what I showed that a new kind of stuff. This one. Yes, I did, didn't see it earlier. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a lot of people are missing this technical things. Means the related computers uh, related stuff. Because uh, either they don't follow anything or they follow only uh, tech blockers. OK, but I my suggestion is. Sometimes when you got a free time when you searching for something in your Amazon or Flipkart. Go with the computer side also search there. You'll find uh, so many other uh, uh, kind of stuff. See it is. It contains. USB ports. Your headphone kind of stuff, power button, HDMI port, HDMI two ports are there. This one, USB again, DC power supply connector. Okay, and what is this? This is a LAN connector for us. So you can open and insert your hard disk, and it is a bare bone, like a Raspberry Pi. It is a bare bone. Bare bone means it does not contain few things. So maximum memory 8 GB RAM DDR4 maximum 8 GB RAM. We can put it supporting operating system is Windows 10 or Windows 11 64. They gave already a processor called a Celeron J400 uh, 4005 processor. It is 4005 for MB catchy. OK, and what they are giving and this is an integrated LAN wireless LAN. Even hard disk also they didn't give in. OK, so you have to use a laptop type of uh, mem thing and uh, this is SSD. So totally this is 12,000 change. And with this one you will get by this a small computer in your hand. With this price. Just for basic computing again. Yeah. This is uh, Asus mini PC. Celeron processor. Celeron is very low power processor. Celeron eight atom processor very low power processor. Okay. Anyway, one point you know today that is mini PC. Mini laptops are there. Mini PCs also there. Okay. I showed mini laptops also. Yeah, it's uh, almost uh, one twelve. Okay, so we have a small time, ten fifteen minutes time to close. Guys, 3.5 inches means for desktop purpose, 2.5 inches for a laptop or a mini. And another one is external hard disk. Internal hard disk are OK, but external hard disk, why? You want to store your backup. Don't store your backup files in your same PC, OK? Better to store in separately. We don't use in our home purpose. We don't use tape drives. Better to we should at least use external hard disk for a storing your important files or backup files. To transfer a data from to transfer heavy data from one place to another place.
okay to transfer heavy data like i have a uh, 50 G, uh, 10 gb data is in my laptop like last time you know uh, one other service came and asked for a uh, operating system and certain application uh, images required so what we have done i have taken my external hard disk i copy the data to external hard disk and give it to him he copied back to his system so to transfer heavy data to store a backup to store data which we are not required to store in our local pcs so sometimes i download a lot of uh, operating system images or uh, applications okay sometimes movies earlier days we were mo mostly movies we are download from internet right now it is not required we got lot of, all our online or two OTTs are there, but no time to watch it. Okay, so yes, I, I don't get a time. You are getting a lot of time. Okay. So you have to store data externally, which we are doing. So this is a few points about your hard disk, internal hard disk, external hard disk, SATA, PATA, hard disk also. last one guys in here ssd because ssds hard disk and ssd nowadays we are all using a ssds in a, a most of the time we are using ssd part so it will take another uh, five, uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes so we'll complete what is ssd solid state drive why we are using a SSDs? Of course, earlier days only SSD in the abbreviation only. When we are know about a computer or when we are learning about a computer, when we are writing a, a computer examination, SSD is a just a abbreviation. Now it is real. Okay, so that also SSD is there. Very rarely people are using. SSD is a NAN memory. Here it is comes normal hard disk. Hard disk stores the data into the platter. Hard disk store data into the platter. Okay, so data stores in this platter. We will have a read and write header. So we read a data and write a data, a data on the this platter. But SSDs are NAND memories data stores in this chips only. Okay, so of course both are non volatile memories and uh, SSD is a NAND memory. Both are non volatile, but SSD is called a NAND memory. Like you have your memory cards, pen drives, works, same principle. Okay, it is very light in weight. We can easily carry and easy to transport. Okay, uh, with no loose parts because these are having lot of parts are in a hard disk. When SSD don't have very loose parts are there. Many loose parts are not there. They are all are enhanced only. So it is easy to transport. It consumes low power and it is a small in size, light in weight. It is lightweight compared to hard disk. It is very lightweight. Okay, it's a less power consumption, small in size, easy to carry. High speed data transmission. Data transmission is very high speed data transmission. Suitable for operating system and applications. It is suitable for a operating system and applications. So not for a regular data, not suitable for a regular data storing. Regular data. I am using a word called a regular. Regular means I have a, some my movies, music files, my virtual machine data is there. Okay, so what happened? So it need a more space. That, that's SSDs are costlier than normal hard disk. So that's why normal data for storing a random data, normal data in SSD, it is not good idea. Okay, so of course. Suitable for operating system because faster booting you will get it. Okay, what you will get it? 
faster voting you are getting a faster voting okay faster uh, application loading okay it is a costly one so you can compare the cost of uh, one cost like you just uh, compare try to compare 1 tb of uh, 1 terabyte of uh, normal hard disk to 1 terabyte of ssd two type of ssds are there compare both okay so when you compare this one uh, you will find uh, what is the cost of the ssd part it is actually double sir <laughs> yeah, double triple also there now it is cost is reduced that's why yes. it is double. Earlier it is almost four times difference is there. When I purchase 240 GB uh, SSD, uh, 240 GB SSD uh, is around uh, 3000 rupees. 3200 uh, I purchase one terabyte of hard disk. That's why I change the line. So here, this is the example is there. Why? Because of that time the cost is four times difference is there. 250 for 240 SSD, the cost is almost equal to one terabyte of hard disk. So 200, 300 difference. <laughs> okay. So uh, now that's why I'm telling this comparison. Of course, again, so one terabyte SSD, take one terabyte SSD. This is different cost. SATA type is. 6800 for this one crystal and this is something this is also one terabyte 4850 cost reduced for certain models maybe world models this is uh, another uh, type it is a m.2 type 4000 to one fix so one terabyte of samsung one terabyte 7700 so if you take normal hard disk, it is you will get a 3500 like that. Okay. So this is the SSD NVMB. Yeah, tell me, tell me. SSD is faster than hard disk. Yes. Yeah, yes. forget one point, guys. That is good. Here it is. I written SATA is a faster than SATA. SATA is a faster than PATA. SATA hard disk is faster than PATA hard disk. SSD is faster than hard disk. SATA hard disk. SSD is faster than SATA hard disk. In the SATA hard disk, sorry, uh, in the SSDs, again, there's a two type of interfaces. Now third type of, uh, not third type, upgraded version is came. In the second one, M, uh, M.2, there is a new upgradation is there. That is much faster than M.2. Okay. One is NAND SSD SATA interface SSD. It is a SATA interface SSD. Like how you connect a normal regular hard disk, the same way you can able to connect it. The same way we'll connect it. Okay, that is a NAND interface uh, SSD. Actually, if it is a uh, if it is Volta type, means we can easily uh, understand. Means uh, inside of uh, means the reverse side. If you have, uh, we can easily understand. So these are the SATA interface SSDs. So you can see SATA same as a SATA hard disk. You can see this is the SATA data cable and SATA power cable. We can able to uh, connect it. Okay. But compared to SATA hard disk, SATA SSDs are a costly better faster okay 
cost and as well as fast lightweight color kind of stuff. For example, uh, in my uh, desktop, uh, in my new desktop and my new laptop, old laptop, only SATA interface is there. So what I have to do? So I want to change my hard disk to, or I want to connect SSD, no choice, I have to use this SATA SSD. Then you take any new laptops or uh, any uh, desktops with the uh, SSD M.2 facilities there, then we can use M.2. M.2 is a much costlier than uh, uh, SATA SSD and SATA hard disk, but much faster than that one. See, it is read and write speed of SATA SSD, read and write speed of uh, M.2 SSD. That's the difference is there. Okay, have you seen that uh, difference? You can take same company, same type of models also as a reference. So, M.2 is faster than SSD. We are inserting into a motherboard like a RAM or CPU. How we are inserting? The same way we are inserting. So, I will show you M.2. That is M.3, is sir. M.2 only. Uh, I, I will show you M.2 uh, motherboard. Okay. So how is inserting a motherboard? Even for a laptop also, you are buying a new laptop. So then it is, you can insert. See how many SSD slots are there. So this is one, this is two in this angle. Okay. So it's inserting on motherboard. So he is inserted into this, and there is a screw. They have to fix it uh, on the screw. She is inserting like this. Even for a laptop, also there is a multi uh, facility scheme. Okay, even there is a cooling system is also there for that. Okay, guys, this is the difference between hard disk and SSD. Guys, hard disk. Uh, as compared to hard disk and SSD, SSDs are a NAND memory type. Data is stored in a chips and hard disk data stores in the platter. Hard disk is heavier as compared to SSD. SSD is a lighter weight, less power consumption, easy to transport. Okay, and it is a small in size also. And SSDs are more suitable for operating system and applications so it provide a faster booting and faster application loading also and it is not suitable for regular data storage why because it is as compared to ssd to hard disk the cost is different is there no it is ssd sir bit costlier than a normal hard disk data is normal data regular data purpose no problem still if you can able to offer yes of course you can put it that's not point here okay it's a cost is only based on the cost differences. Next one is in SSDs also we have a mainly SATA interface SSDs and we uh, the, uh, the M.2 uh, uh, type of interface SSDs also there. SATA interface SSD is just like how you connect a SATA hard disk. You can connect it to your motherboard. Okay, to motherboard using SATA cable, whereas a uh, M.2 type of SSD there is directly connecting to motherboard just like how you are inserting a RAM or CPU directly you are connecting to motherboard no cables we are using here and M.2 SSD is faster than SATA SSD SATA SSD is faster than SATA hard disk SATA hard disk is faster than SATA hard disk <laughs> okay so that is a points are there guys compulsory SATA SATA compulsory reading any information you need or any this SATA hard disk SSD 
small small videos are there guys so just like yesterday i said please go to that uh, kind of stuff also anything i found also i will forward compulsory technically prepare guys for both interview and for both your knowledge purpose and your working related purpose okay meet you on monday so i didn't get any information about your version test or interview so monday generally class is there if any changes we will discuss okay okay sir okay sir okay thank you guys thank you thank you sir thank you sir sir um, i have watched that video